It's a crystal fest here. A crystal bloody fest. Okay. I'll just pick them all up and examine them later. But there's a lot of eggs. Oops. These fragile eggs could be destroyed, snuffing out the innocent life within. Oh, as if I'm going to have a heart and preserve the flaming nature of these creatures, evil beings that they are. Blast the egg down and get the crystals out. Yeah. I said bash it open! Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, how many more Queen Wrath eggs are there here? There's t tons of the bloody things. And one more for good luck. I think that's the same one. Uh, what? Who's this? Somebody who came hunting for... Lightsaber crystals, no doubt. Got chewed to death. Well, shame on you. Response package and Jura Steel bonding alloy. Any more for any more? No? I picked up everything there. Uh, crystal formation here. Uh, thank you. Any more for any more? Crystal formation here. Uh, thank you as well. Any more for any more? Come on. There's gotta be more. I need more. I want more. More, more, more. There we go. More. Give me more. More. There's more eggs here. Why can't I not break these ones down as well? Come on! Alright, we've got plenty now. <laughs> Let me look to my spoils. Crystal blue. Crystal bondar. Crystal green. Crystal red. Crystal rubat. Crystal yellow. Hey, hey, look at these pretty crystals. Right, back to the Jedi quarters. I want to upgrade my lightsabers and see what powers I can get from them. Pity I can't run any faster. I'm eager to get back and install these things. Use some cure to cure Carthy of his ailments. In fact, could we transit back? Oh, look at that! <laughs> Shortcut, I like to call it. Shortcut. Okay, there's also this area here which I haven't been to. It's a uh, map note Aratech Mercantile. So yeah, before I go, I need to explore this area as well. So we'll just take a nosy poke along. Oh, is it a shop? Hello, everybody. I merely come looking to spend my hard-earned money. Achuta. Jedi Valdron Bane. ロンダディホトンガ君ハンカビワナ君ベースジェドバドワナニディボボトンナブンシャンヤヤワナカチコンイダハドンガイキンコノバムレラチセカカワルディヴンエクセストポドナルリスンチュミーオンガコンビストル
Extortion, bribing officials, government diplomats, driving up prices on essentials like food and water. Oh dear. Worse? And how's it gotten worse? Okay, well, it seems that we won't be doing anything about the Zerka Corporation because they sound like a powerhouse company. <laughs> Dealing with the Sith and helping them with their supplies, I don't think it's uh, a job for me to get embroiled up in at this moment in time. So yes, I think I will just look what you have for sale, if you don't mind. Yes, yes. Highest quality. Special items you won't find anywhere else. Uh, that's what they all say. What I usually say to that is, Pfft. kiss my backside. Right, no armors required, because I just merely will be wearing robes from now on, and my uh, compadres can make do with the armors we scrounge from the field. This looks like a nice blade. Sasana Sasan Sanasiki's blade. 7,000. What the hell? Excuse me? Oh my god. Specialist blade. That is far too expensive for me. Jurgen Kalter's assault rifle, eight thousand credits. Yeah, special items indeed. Special item price as well. Interface ban, breath mask, immunity to poison. Yeah, I'm gonna actually buy that just in case we actually come across any areas that are heavily. Inhabited by uh, poisonous creatures, it might make life a little bit easier. Uh, uh, oral amplifier, raising our awareness by two. Infiltrator gloves, it's computer use plus four, security plus four, dexterity plus one. Arcadian shields, energy shields, Calrissian's utility belt, retinal combat implant, adrenal uh, hoodie hoodies. And some Pazak cards. Well, that's a nice, interesting selection of goods you've got there. Obviously, I will hold off on buying anything until I've done a bit of research. But it's nice to know that you're here for future reference. Right, what am I selling here? Any repeats, really. Vibro Blade times two. I think I'll sell one. E e Vibro Double Blade. I think I'll sell one. Lightsabers. I'm going to keep them. I'm not selling lightsabers, no, I like the look of a man. I might start collecting lightsabers. He could be an avid lightsaber collector, could uh, Valderin. We never know. What else have we got? Crystals, definitely not selling these. In fact, they're not even worth a great deal, some of them. Uh, blaster pistols, heavy blaster. I'll keep blaster pistols on too, because you can dual wield those. Ion blasters, blaster carbines. Keep my grenades, breath mask, devil's visors, energy shield, partially used. Sell one of those. 25 credits, it's barely worth it, is it? Can we sell these dado pads? They're just sort of cluttering up the inventory. No, we don't need them now anymore. Okay, thank you for your time and efforts, but that was pretty worthless. Okay, who are these? Some droids, and then we got somebody. Karal Car. Tongai tuam jiji yumalith pa angikotu. Tolba da bunk walya gando da nago chuchut. Okay, and you can also. Rundi hadonga kuhunga bi. Can also buy things from you, and you are the droid. The droid man. Alright. Well, as I say, thank you for your patronage. I uh, may spend my hard-earned cash on you one day, but not quite now. See ya. 
Oh, man, I can see the prizes in there. Bloody rip-off. <laughs> yes, I think I'll hang on to my cash for now. I'll be back in a second. Righty ho, we're back again. I just had to refresh myself and uh, I've done so. So we have explored the fields of Dantui for a second time. Found the Mandalorian Raiders, or the leader of the Mandalorian Raiders. Uh, which reminds me, before I head back to the Jedi Council, uh, we have to speak with John and let him know the good news so we can pick up our reward. And then we found that uh, lovely crystal cave where we've collected a whole host of crystals for our lightsabers, so Valdun is extremely excited about trying to upgrade some of those. Let's see what fun he can have. And here's John. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. Well, I've got some good news for you, buddy. You better get counting out your cash, because I've found that leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, Rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Ah, thank you. There's no need for a... <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Give me more? Oh, excuse me. Frog in my throat there. Thank you, John. You look like a pauper, so I won't press the issue for more, because you probably haven't got any. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Will you really? Thousand credits? It's better than a smack of the chops, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, bye! There we go, kill a few Mandalorian Raiders and get a thousand thousand caps, although their leader was no pushover. <laughs> Had me running scared for a short second. Then I came to my senses and thought, who the hell does he think he is? I'm a Jedi, for God's sake. Anyway. Now it's time to speak with the Jedi Council. We've kept them waiting long enough, and I'm sure they're probably getting rather impatient. But as I said, tough cookies. So here we are, once again, in the chamber of the Jedi Masters. I'm snippets of information that they're going to give to me this time. I'm going to speak with this one. I like this little guy. Vanda Toker. I speak with you, because you're smaller than me. <laughs> it is good to see Johnny has returned to the Way of the Light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Okay. Sounds uh, reasonable enough, I suppose. But do we know what happened to that Jedi who went to investigate? I don't want to end up the same way. We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We... Fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Uh, okay. Why does a Master Rook like me? Forget that. I don't give two flying monkeys what Master Rook thinks of me. Uh, can you tell me anything more about Revan and Malik? Anything that may be of use to me whilst I'm looking through the ruins? Anything to look out for in particular? I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. Oh dear, right. 
So Revan was stronger than Malak then, eh? Revan was always the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role, and embraced the dark side as fully as his master ever had. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance drawing him ever further down the dark path. Fueling his powers until they have surpassed those of his old master. Only you and Bastila, together, can stop Malak now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. What am I doing here? Are we, are we going straight there now? I want to really upgrade my lightsabers. For God's sake, give me a flaming chance. Right, Bastila, you know I'm taking you with me, dearie, because uh, <laughs> you're a Jedi too. And who shall I take along for the ride as well? Carfi? Yeah. As much as your constant jibing annoys me, life is not the same without you there. Who can I insult if I don't have you there by my side? And since you've been with me from the start, I'm going to continue to take you with me for now. Love-hate relationship. You can have less than three. Oh, sorry. No, add. There we go. Yes, please. I demand justice. Uh oh, here he comes the again. The central <laughs> family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Would I? 